Hey everybody, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this sideways bean. And just like I said in the other video, and if you haven't seen it, I recommend going and checking that out in case I for forget to say something I said there. But uh, making this basically the same exact way, it's just using two different stitches. This was using the basket weave stitch, and this one I'm going to be showing you how to do today is called the starfish stitch. And so I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to show you how to do the stitch and the tutorial, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to film once how to put it together. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this stitch or this stitch to do that. So if you saw the other video, then uh, you'll, you will you already know and you know more information than I do right now. So anyways, uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to do the starfish stitch. So let's move that out of the way. Okay. Uh, the starfish stitch is uh, a, a stitch that I designed uh, a while back because I, I was a really huge fan of the shell stitch, but I wanted it to have more texture on a, some project that I was making at the time. And so I, I kind of changed the design of it a little bit and gave it more texture. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. This is also the same stitch that I used to make uh, the unicorn afghan, that, that rainbow afghan that I made, in case you're wondering. But this is turned on its side, so it really gives it this row look from the side, which I think it turned out really good. I'm going to be using a bigger size hook and bigger size yarn for the tutorial, but to make this hat, I used worsted weight yarn. I had a skein of each one. Obviously, it, you're going to use a lot less of the second color, but if you have a skein, full skein of one color and a half a skein of another, you'll probably have enough to make this hat with it. And it's worsted weight yarn, 4 ply for the U.S., 10 ply for Australia. Also, you're going to need a 5 millimeter hook or a size 8 H hook for the U.S. Okay, to begin this hat, the sideways hat's the same way. Uh, you'll be using a single crochet foundation stitch. But for this one, you're going to be using 19. So go ahead and do 19 single crochet foundation stitches for row 1, and I will see you back here in a minute. And if you have difficulty doing the single crochet foundation stitch, I have a tutorial and I'll leave that tutorial down below for you. So row one, you got 19. So for row two, oh, you need to chain one and turn. Okay, for row two, we need a single crochet in the first single crochet. Now you want to skip two stitches, so one, two, and then this third one over, you're going to put five double crochets all worked in the same stitch. So yarn over, skip over these first two, and then the next you'll put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then again, on the other side of the shell, you're also going to skip two and then put a single crochet in the next stitch. And that's your first shell, and you're going to continue that. You're, after your single crochet, you'll have two skip stitches after that, and then the next one, you'll put your five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then again, after the shell, you'll skip two, and the next stitch, you'll put a single crochet. You're going to repeat that one more time, skip two, double crochet five, skip two, and then the very last stitch, you'll put a single crochet. Okay, you have your shell row done, and now we're ready for row three. And this is where we start to alter the shell stitch into the starfish stitch. So to begin, you will always chain one and turn, and you will always put a single crochet in the first single crochet. Now we're going to be working with our shells, and we just did five double crochets worked in to make our shell here. So we're going to be using only the post this time of our stitch, we're not going to be using the stitch part. So only on our post, we're going to be doing uh, front we're going to be alternating a front post back post front post back post front post so we'll end up with three front posts on the first and last and middle and then the two middle i mean and the two in between that will be back post 
So yarn over, grab up that very first post, and do a front post on it. Then again, we're going to be alternating. So you want to pick up the post of the next one, push that back, and do a back post. Then yarn over, pick up that middle post, do a front post. My off screen here, sorry if I am. Yarn over and then pick up, push back, sorry, the next post and do a double crochet on that to do your back post. And then your final post of your, st of your shell will be a front post. So that's what it looks like at the end, kind of a claw look. And you can see here, that's how we got the, oh here, this is the front of the stitch, I hope. That's what it looks like. So when you get done with the alternating front, back, front, back, front, back, you'll go into your single crochet because there's always going to be a single crochet between your shells. Find that single crochet and put a single crochet in it. And then you're ready to do your next shell. Again, you'll do a front post on the first, back post, worked on the post of the second, and the middle one will be a front post, then the next will be a back post, and the fifth and final will be a front post. And then again, always put a single crochet in the single crochet. I feel like I'm leaning way too far over and I'm getting off camera. Really sorry if, you, if I'm getting off camera. Okay, so again, the, our third shell here, do a front post, back post, middle one, do a front post, then the next you'll do a back post, and then the final one you'll do a front post, which brings you to your very last single crochet of your row, and you'll just do a single crochet in that. We're going to be doing a, and that is the row end four, of row four, and three. I should uh, show you, actually you're going to be doing a repeat of rows three and four because you'll be using the stitches now of the fish, uh, fish stitch, yeah, starfish stitch. So I'm going to show you row four. Again, you're always going to chain one and turn and single crochet in that first single crochet. And now this is like our prep row. This is where we go and make our shells again. And as you can see, these were the back post from last row that stick up. They've become front post, and then our three front posts now become back post. This is the back part part of the stitch. But uh, these two back posts that are now your front post are basically telling you that this middle stitch here is your middle is your middle stitch. It's easy to find it because of these two. It's the stitch in between them. That's your your middle front post. That's the stitch. In the stitch you're going to be working. Not on the post of it, but in that stitch of your middle, the middle five. That's where you're always going to be putting your new five double crochets. So find that middle double crochet and crochet five double crochets into it. So there you go, got your five, and again, you're going to come over and find your single crochet and put a single crochet in your single crochet. And then yarn over, again, find that middle one, middle double crochet, and you'll put your five double crochets inside that one stitch. And then single crochet in your single crochet. And go ahead and do that for your very last one and single crochet in your single crochet. There you go. And that ends row four. Now for row five, you're just going to be repeating row three again. It's just going to be a repeat of rows three and four. And it's pretty easy repeat. You just chain one, turn, always single crochet. And now you're going to be working your fish, starfish stitch again. So you're going to pick up the first post and do a front post, then the next post, you'll do a back post, 
and then your middle one here be a front post and then your very next one push that back that'll be your back post double crochet and then your final one will be front post double crochet and then you'll single crochet in your single crochet and you'll repeat that again for the the next one front post back post front post back post front post you'll have three front post and only two back post and that will be your repeat of row three and then for row four again you'll make your shell rows worked in the middle uh, double crochet so uh, now to tell you about the hat. So you're you want to continue to to do this. Remember, you're making the main portion of the hat here. So you're going to continue to grow it out like this, and you're going to want to measure that. And I stopped when I made my child size about 47 centimeters or eight inches, and for an adult, I moved it up to 50 centimeters or 19 inches and for a male or someone with just a, a bigger head around you can go up to uh, 53 centimeters or 20 inches and you can even do bigger than that if you want this is basically the part that wraps around the head and I did keep keep in mind I did do it a little bit uh, wider than probably uh, you should or actually need for a hat because I didn't want the stitches to be stretched out too much to create holes I wanted the stitch to be sh to be able to be seen really well, so I made sure it didn't get stretched out too much. But you are going to want a little bit of stretch in your hat because you want it to be able to grip your head a little bit. You don't want it to be too loose and it'll just be flopping around on the head. And every time you bend over, it's going to plop right down on the floor. So your best bet is to make it. Uh, remember, acrylic yarn will stretch a little bit, so you do want it to be slightly tight and then to be pulled over and uh, allow it to grip on the head. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share this video. It helps me out so much. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, you can always find the link to the pattern, the free pattern, in the video's description. And if I do make the video for the pom-pom, again, that will also be in the, the description down below. Uh, if you want to always be notified whenever I release a new tutorial, you can go next to the subscribe button, that little bell button and click to get all notifications. Also, I have a couple of groups on Facebook. There's a private group called Crochet for the Masses, and then there's a public group called Crochet Zone Public. And you can go there and subscribe, be part of the crochet community there. Also, if you're on Pinterest, I have Melodores Creations Community, free crochet links posted by not just myself, by other designers as well. Also, you can check out my newsletter. I have a newsletter now. If you want to be notified whenever I release something new on my channel or if I have any news uh, on my site or anything, that is the, the number one place to go to at least be updated on what's new happening to the site. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. Mm -hmm.